I'm from Denmark, in Coyoacán. I really like Mexico, very much, but I have a hard time finding out what to wear because the weather, it's really cold in the morning and then it's really nice in the afternoon and then it's really cold again. Open-minded, welcoming people. You're all helpful and welcoming. Then you have like, yeah, landscapes, variated landscapes. Yeah, landscapes, yeah. Um, I think you got some political issues here and something with the quality as well. Um, it seems to me like um, you are taking care of each other, you're helping each other. In Denmark we're busy looking down, not saying, noticing everyone else, but here it's more uh, hasta luego and <laughs> buen día. You have a good sense of humor. You're smart, you're good dancers. I expected you to be... Uh, no, yeah, I, that was a word I forgot to say. You're much more chilled down here. The Mexican time and all that, you're much more chilled than I'm yeah. used to and that's really nice, that's important. <laughs> I'll learn much more about you guys, so... I still like you very much. <laughs> <laughs> you like hanging out with each other, you like being social, that's my impression of you guys. And we like the same thing in Denmark, at least eating up for dinner. Dinner is a big thing in Denmark and I guess food is a big yeah, social thing here as well. For me the most interesting uh, difference is the way you see your political situation. That for example you guys don't always intend, uh, you know, intend to go vote, for example. And that's a big thing in Denmark. You have to vote in Denmark and we believe that we can make a difference by voting. And I guess it's not quite the same here. You don't believe that you can actually make a difference. That's so true. so that's, that's actually the most, you know, where I can say, wow, there's a huge difference. Oh, that you're warm, welcoming, um, easy to meet. Uh, you hang out in the same way as I do. You like eating, you like dancing, you like talking, discussing, yeah. I've been here for two weeks now and thank you so much for taking uh, or for welcoming me in this way. I feel like this is already my home and I'm looking very much forward to stay here many months. We share some points of view about Mexico and Mexicans. Humor sense is a good example because we are used to make jokes about death, double sense and etc. Also Mexicans are seen as welcoming people who give importance to family, friends and to every person that seems to be alone. The part that was a little weird to us was that she said Mexicans are open-minded because as Mexicans we perceive ourselves as old school, mostly adults. In addition, we think that Mexicans are in open-minded because of the lack of education and opportunities, which is one of the main challenges that Mexico has to deal with. The majority of population doesn't have the chance to finish school or in the best of the cases, have a good education where they can get knowledge to think by themselves and avoid the context of structural violence. We agree with her when she mentioned a problem with political issues in Mexico. Specifically, we were interested in the way she described how seriously we take elections here and how they do in Denmark. She explained to us that in her country, voting is really significant for them because they are confident they have the power to do a change. On the other hand, in Mexico, we don't believe that we can actually make a difference because of corruption problems. That's why her answer let us reflect about what voting means in Mexico. And we concluded that yes, the majority of the population doesn't care about that because at the end, most of the people think that the government is going to take care of the matter all by itself. But as we have seen in class, not voting is part of our culture. That idea of conformism and lack of interest in political issues as well. Our identity is made of traditions, music, food, festivals and history which gave us a result all the values, rights, civic responsibilities, beliefs, assumptions and expectations that people share as a nation. As we have seen, Mexican national identity isn't just traditions like the Day of the Death and celebrations like Cinco de Mayo or food like tacos. In Mexico, there are also problems that society faces like corruption, gender equality, lack of trust in the government, discrimination and the gap between social classes. That also takes part of what being Mexican is. Despite the complications in this country, we have noticed that Mexican people still care about their country and keep trying to improve Mexico every day. The power to change the nation for better is in each and every one of us.